what's up everyone? So I want to address a article that was recently published in C Store Decisions. Um, it's actually a really good article and they were spot on on almost every aspect they were talking about. Uh, what they were talking about was growing your food service sales within your C Store. And it was a really good article and I'm actually going to link that article uh, in the description down below this video. But I want to real quick go through the seven strategies that they gave you. Um, they were great strategies. I only feel like they left out one major element. And to me, it's the most important element. Um, I don't think that they did it on purpose. I think that they just assumed that people would do this. But I wanted to point it out because not everybody knows. Not everybody just does this one thing. So the seven things that they suggested you do that will grow uh, food service sales for your C-Store. Number one is monitor your competition. It's something we talk about all the time. Uh, you gotta at least pay attention to what they're doing. Uh, a, so that you can follow success. B, so that you know a little bit about what they're doing. Number two, and this one is the one that I'm on the fence about, but it's know your own product. Uh, I feel like for the most part, many of you C-Store owners are gonna know your customers and know the products that you need in your store. So that one's kind of the one that I'm on the fence about, and I would maybe even take out and add the one that I'm gonna tell you at the end of this video. Uh, number three was accept, set acceptable everyday pricing with strong price promo promotions. That's key. If you're gonna have success and you're gonna profit, you gotta make sure you find that market value in your food service. Get the most money you can, the most profit you can, find that market value in your in your food service business uh, one one item that I can tell you for example uh, the company that I work for a lot of times our suggested uh, retail for one single chicken tender uh, will be in the 149 to 169 range but I will tell you this there is a C store company out there that is heavily heavily promoting chicken they sell their chicken tenders for 229 now they're getting full market value for that one tender and they're also pressing you or pushing you toward buying more. So finding that, that, that as they said, set acceptable everyday pricing with strong price promotions, that's what they're doing. As well as something we suggest is dollar tenders and there's other things that we do. So the company that I work for, we actually help you do that. Uh, number four, set concrete goals. And what that means is know exactly what it is that you wanna do that you want to grow and you want to go after and then know how you're going to go after that. Uh, number five is remember employee communication and training are key 100%. Uh, the company that I work for, PFS Brands, we are all about training your employees and communicating properly and even setting up competitions and goals with even your employees so that they help push product out the door and help grow your sales. Number six, improve communication with customers. You got to do it. Um, if you don't communicate with your customers, if you don't talk with your customers, if you don't greet and welcome your customers, it's something that I talk about in the C-Store Secrets book, you're not going to win. You're not going to grow your profits and you're not going to get where you want to go. People want to be welcome. It is what it is. It's part of the industry. It's part of growing your business. It's part of creating loyal customers. If you don't communicate with your customers, you're not doing everything that you can to, uh, to push yourself towards success. Uh, number seven, sample, sample, sample. These seven things that they're talking about in this article all are really good, they're spot on. Uh, you gotta sample to your customers. I did a demo just a minute ago. A customer was kind of looking interested in what I was doing. They knew that I was not a normal employee. They, knew they were a normal customer, so they knew I had something different. They kept looking at me and I noticed it. And I said, hey, you wanna try this? Yes, they wanted to try it, so I gave them one of the new potato wedges that I was sampling. So sampling is key. You're gonna have curious customers, you're gonna have people that are on the fence, get them to try one. So let me address now the number eight item that was missing in this article. And it's very important and it's very obvious to most people, but I, I, I feel like I want to address this. Cleanliness. You will not have success in food service if you're not clean on all aspects. Now what does cleanliness mean? It goes back to some of the things with training. Cleanliness is interwoven in everything that C-Store Decisions said in their article. Interwoven, but it's assumed. And so that's why I'm trying to point it out. 
do your deli workers wear gloves like they should? You know, I will say this, I've worked in some, some kitchens doing demos and I've watched deli workers not put on gloves. I've watched them move around behind the registers and throughout the kitchen. Most of the time they'll put on gloves, but I've seen them not do it. It's a habit. It's something that has to be ingrained in their mind. And if your customers see your employees not wearing gloves and making their sandwich, if they don't say something about it and they notice it, there's a chance you've lost that customer for life. Cleanliness. People will not eat from a dirty store. Point blank. Miles. Mark it down in the book. On the left Sorry about that. Got West some uh, GPS West. stuff going on here. They will not eat in your store if you are dirty and they will look at it. With all this Stay pandemic the left, and all the health stuff that's going on and everything that's going on in this world, if you're not clean, you're cutting your own throat, metaphorically. I don't mean that literally, but you know, you're cutting your own throat, you're cutting your business, you're going to turn customers off and you're gonna turn them away. So, just wanted to address that. It was a great article. I follow a lot of C-Store industry news and it just stood out to me that I needed to share this. If you're reading C-Store decisions, keep doing it. They have all kinds of great stuff. I'm not knocking them in any way, but I am saying that in this article, that was left off and I don't think they did it intentionally. I think that it's an assumption that everybody's gonna be clean, but it's, it's really not. Not everybody pays attention to these little details and it's something that I talk about through C-Store Secrets a lot. You have to pay attention to the details and one of the number one things you have to do is you have to be clean. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You have to be clean. So just wanted to share that quick thought with you guys. Hopefully this helps you out. Make sure you're, you're subscribed and following C-Store Decisions. Check out the link that's going to be down in the description below this video. Uh, uh, and go to their website and subscribe because I can promise you this, they're always putting out good industry information. And so I'm just trying to add to that and complement that with this video just so that um, you guys you know, get everything that you need so that you can have a successful C-Store and a successful business. So thank you very much, and I'll talk to you soon.